Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you got an old laptop sitting around, feeling like it's past its prime, this video is for you. Today, we are diving into a head-to-head -head showdown between Zorin OS 18 and Linux Mint 22.2. The two popular Linux distributions, designed to breathe new life into aging hardware. I'll test them on real vintage gear, compare their performance, usability, and features and help you decide which one could turn your dusty relic into a reliable daily driver. Stick around to the end for our verdict and some tips to get started. So let's jump in. First, the laptop graveyard. A quick look. First off, why are so many old laptops gathering dust? Well, if you are still running an outdated version of Windows or Mac OS, you are probably dealing with the constant slowdowns, security vulnerabilities, and bloatware that chugs along on limited resources. Windows 10 reached end of life in 2025, leaving millions of machines unsupported. And Windows 11 has stricter hardware requirements that exclude older CPUs and lack of TPM. Mac OS updates often drop support for hardware after 7 to 10 years, turning perfectly functional devices into paperweights. But here is the good news. Linux can revive these machines. It's free, lightweight, and highly customizable, with distributions optimized for low-end specs. Linux doesn't demand the latest processors or tons of RAM. It focuses on efficiency. For this battle, we are using a test candidate that's a classic old laptop scenario, a 2012 Dell Inspiron with an Intel Core i5, which is third generation, and 4 GB of RAM and a 500 GB HDD, which is hard disk. No fancy SSD or upgrades here. Just stock hardware to stimulate what many folks have lying around. I'll measure boot times, app loading, multitasking, and everyday tasks like web browsing and video playback. Zorin OS 18, the polished performer. Let's start with Zorin OS 18, released in October 2025 and built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. If you are coming from Windows, Zorin feels like home right away. Installation is straightforward. Download the ISO from zorinos.com. Create a bootable USB with a tool like Rufus or eChair and boot into the live environment to try it before committing. On our test laptop, it took about 15 minutes to install and it detected most hardware automatically. So, no major hiccups. Zorin shines with its desktop environments. The default is a customized GNOME, but you can switch to XFCE for lighter performance via the Zorin Appearance app. This lets you tweak the layout to mimic Windows 11, Mac OS, or even classic Ubuntu. On older hardware, the XFCE flavor is a game changer. It's snappy and uses less RAM. About my first impressions, the interface is sleek and modern with smooth animations that doesn't feel bogged down. For performance benchmarks on light tasks, booting took around 45 seconds on our HTT equipped laptop. Opening Firefox for browsing was quick, under 5 seconds. And handling multiple tabs, say like 10 to 15, didn't cause much lag. Office work with LibreOffice loaded documents in 3 to 4 seconds and multimedia playback via VLC handled 1080p videos smoothly without drop frames. RAM usage idled at about 1.2 GB, leaving room for more. Now about the strengths. Excellent Windows app compatibility through built-in tools like Wine and it's great for beginners with a clean software store. Now about the weaknesses. Some users report occasionally UI glitches on very low RAM setups under 2 GB. And the Pro Edition, which costs a one-time fee, unlocks extra layouts and apps. But the free core version is plenty capable. Now, Linux Mint 22.2, the reliable workhorse. Now, over to Linux Mint 22.2, also based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and released in September 2025. 
Linux Mint has a reputation for being rock solid and user friendly, especially for those switching from Windows. Installation Mirrors, Zorin's Prosten. Grab the ISO from linuxmint.com. Boot from USB and you are set in about 10 to 15 minutes. It even includes a welcome screen that guides you through initial setup like updating drivers. Linux Mint offers three desktop flavors, cinnamon, modern and feature rich, matte, lightweight with a classic feel, and XFCE, the lightest, ideal for older hardware. For our test, we went with XFCE to optimize for legacy devices. It keeps things simple with a traditional taskbar and menu. On the old Dell, it felt immediately responsive with minimal visuals flare to save resources. Benchmarks for light task. Boot time was a tad faster at around 40 seconds. Firefox launched in 4 seconds and multitasking with 10 plus taps was stable. Though it handled with slightly less overhead than Zorin. LibreOffice Docs opened in 2 to 3 seconds. And 1080p video playback was flawless. Ideal RAM usage hovered at 900 MB, which is impressively low, making it a champ for machines with 4 GB or less. Now let's talk about these trends. Out of the box support for peripherals like printers and scanners is top notch. And its update manager makes security patches effortless. Now let's talk about the weaknesses. The interface might feel a bit dated compared to Zorin's polished look and customization requires more tweaks if you want a Windows-like setup. Now, beyond the basics, features face off. Moving beyond the basics, let's compare features head to head. Software availability is similar since both pull from Ubuntu's vast repository. Over 60,000 packages via their app stores. Installing apps like Chrome, Spotify or GIMP is a one-click affair on either. Zorin edges out with built-in web app creation, turns sites into desktop apps, and better OneDrive integration, while Mint excels in native multimedia codec support for seamless video and audio playback. Now, hardware compatibility. Both handle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and common peripherals well, thanks to Ubuntu's base. Mint often wins for older printers or scanners due to its focus on out-of-the-box functionality. But Zorin includes easy driver tools for NVIDIA, AMD graphics if needed. On our test laptop, both connected to a Wi-Fi instantly, though Mint recognized an external webcam faster. For updates and security, both get long-term support until 2029 with automatic patches. Mint's community is massive and helpful via forums, while Zorin is growing, but more focused on beginner-friendly guides. Overall, Mint feels like a better long-term bet for stability, but Zorin offers more modern privacy features, like no data collection and easy encryption during install. Now, the ultimate old laptop champion. Summing it up, Zorin OS 18 is the polished performer, which is great for Windows users wanting a familiar, customizable experience with solid speed on hardware from the last 15 years. Its strengths are in aesthetics, app compatibility, and reviving mid-range old laptops without feeling clunky. About the weaknesses, it might demand a bit more tweaking on ultra-low spec machines. Linux Mint 22.2 is the reliable workhorse, excelling in raw efficiency, especially with XFCE or MAT on truly ancient gear. It's stable, secure, and requires zero fuss for everyday tasks. About the drawbacks, it's less flashy out of the box, so if you crave modern vibes, you'll need to customize. The winner depends on your needs. For simplicity and a Windows-like feel, Go with Zorin. It's our pick for most users switching over. For raw speed and minimal resource use on the oldest hardware, Mint takes the crown. If customization is key, either works, but Mint's lighter desktops give it an edge. Now, 
final recommendation download both they are free test them live from a usb on your laptop and see what clicks no commitment needed if this video helped hit that like button subscribe for more tech revivals and drop a comment what's your old laptop story have you tried linux yet thanks for watching see you in the next one peace out